I would like to make sure my subscribers and listeners know that I am not sponsored, paid, or supported in any way by LinkedIn. I am a user of the service. Good afternoon, and thank you for joining Conversations for College Success. Thank you to my subscribers. Thank you to my listeners. Thank you to my new listeners, and hopefully you will become subscribers. The topic today is on LinkedIn. I want to talk a little bit about what LinkedIn is and then how you use it. LinkedIn is a business and employment focused social media platform. It works through websites and mobile apps. It was launched in May of 2003. However, since December 2016, LinkedIn has been a wholly owned subsidiary of Microsoft. It's primarily used for professional networking and career development, and it allows job seekers to post their resumes and employers to post their jobs. LinkedIn has more than 1 billion, I repeat, billion registered members from over 200 countries and territories. Members are both workers and employees, and we create profiles with each other in an online social network. You can invite anyone to join or connect with you. It can also be used to organize events, join groups, write articles, publish job posting, post photos, videos, and more. Why is LinkedIn so valuable? It's a way as a college student, but even as a high school student that's going to be entering college, to connect with your professors, as well as your college friends that you have met. You can also connect with your high school teachers if they're on LinkedIn and any friends from high school, again, to stay connected. As it was mentioned, you can look for jobs on LinkedIn and those positions can be co-ops or internships, as well as permanent employment. Particularly where co-ops and internships are concerned, College students should be connecting with at least some of the people that you have met there, whether they are your immediate boss or your boss's boss, or it could be an HR representative, but you want to start to connect with professionals in your career field. You can also list, once you've gotten into the work field, if you've been laid off or potentially fired, you can actually put that you are open to work. You can oftentimes ask questions of your network that you've created through LinkedIn. You can also use LinkedIn to find opportunities. There is a job search function on LinkedIn. Not everyone uses it, but it's a way to have additional opportunities sent directly to your box. You can also, instead of saying open to work that lets the world know you're looking for jobs, is to have it open to just recruiters so they can view your resume and LinkedIn page. People are found, though, through how you set up your LinkedIn page. So that becomes very, very important. We talked about putting your resume there. Oftentimes, students will say student at whatever college they belong to. That's not a very good header. Know that employers are not going to put student at any particular university because they will pull up every college student at your university. They're oftentimes looking for specific or, yeah, I'll say specific career fields. It can be human resources. It can be engineering. It can be educational. It can be any host of majors that you're in, accounting, etc. And so they're going to be looking for those kinds of skill sets. So when you look at how you set up your information on LinkedIn, you're going to need, I will call it a header section, your experience, your education, your skills, and your skills can be endorsed by members of your network, as well as recommendations where someone has worked with you and they're sharing the expertise that they feel that you have or bring to that particular specialty or opportunity that they're speaking of. 
You can also, as I mentioned before, if there are events that are going on, whether you're sharing them or others are sharing them on LinkedIn, which you can look into. Sometimes they will have sessions on LinkedIn that you can participate in. Some are free, some are not. So you want to make sure that you're aware of what you're signing up for or agreeing to participate in. Scholarship information is oftentimes available on LinkedIn. I know I have actually sent out through my page to people across LinkedIn scholarships that I have become aware of. Oftentimes I am reposting information that has come to my LinkedIn page. And it is important that college students know of scholarships that are avail available that can help them. I've also reposted internships and co-ops that employers have posted that I have seen, whether it comes directly to my box or it is information that I have found on LinkedIn. Again, trying to make sure people are aware of and notified of the various things that are available through LinkedIn. One of the reasons why you want to be a part of LinkedIn and you want to connect with people, know that although you have your own, I'll say, friends and networks and things outside of LinkedIn, when people change phone numbers, change email addresses, or change work, if you're not aware of that, you may not be able to stay connected to them. If someone's on LinkedIn, whether they do it right away or later, they will eventually update that information, which allows you to stay connected with them. But it also announces if they've gotten a new job and you can say congratulations and you'll be one of the first to know. Those are things that you can do to stay in touch. But as I mentioned, you can also ask questions of your network. You can also learn information. People will post articles whether they have written them or others have written them and they found them of interest or information that others should be aware of. They can be about mental health issues. There's any host of information that is available to you through LinkedIn. So you definitely want to join LinkedIn. It can help you increase your network. I've increased my network. When I ask to join someone's professional network, I will usually explain why and give a little bit of background information. A lot of people do not do that, they just send it. I would suggest that you look at someone's LinkedIn page before you automatically just accept an invitation. That way you know who you're connecting with and what the connection would be between the two of you. However, you can also just follow people on LinkedIn. So you don't necessarily have to connect with them, but it allows you access to what they're posting whether it's information, activities, events, projects that they're working on, all those things are available to you. As well as someone had posted that they were working on their PhD and they wanted some people to respond to some questions that they had. So there's any number of ways that LinkedIn can be helpful to you in your career. So if you're not already signed up, please do so. If you're not that familiar, make sure you talk to people who are on LinkedIn. One of the things I usually suggest if someone is not a member, you can actually look at a few profiles. So you can look up and see if your college professor is there. You can look and see if one of the bosses that you've worked with through a co-op or internship is there. You can look to see if professors are there and see what they've written. See how they've structured their LinkedIn page. As I mentioned, as a student, do not put student at whatever your college is. If you're an aspiring engineer, if you are an aspiring accountant, aspiring nurse, whatever your area of interest in, make sure that you share the skill sets that you have in that arena. So whether it is classes that you have taken, you can list some of the classes that you've taken or if there are experiences that you've had, you can adjust and mention those things there. A lot of people will post along the line of aspiring engineer or aspiring nurse, or that they have taken some specific classes in those areas and they will mention those. 
because employers do look for whether it's co-ops or interns, as well as permanent professional hires through LinkedIn. And they do it by the skill sets that they're looking for. So if you're mentioning those skill sets in your LinkedIn page, then you will be found as a potential hire for them. If you say things like student this, student that, you're not going to be found because employers are not saying that they're looking for a student. They're actually looking for students with specific skill sets. And employers, particularly HR professionals, do use LinkedIn to find people. They also post their positions on LinkedIn. So that's another way for you to find opportunities that are in your career field. And as I mentioned, there's a job search that you can put together. And then those types of opportunities and information will come to your box. I hope this information on LinkedIn has been helpful to you in terms of what it is, why you want to use it. Again, I want to thank my subscribers and my listeners. I look forward to talking to you next Wednesday. Have a great day. Bye-bye.